This video is going to discuss the basics of parallelism. Parallelism means that two things are going in the same direction. Look at the, these parts of the railroad track. These are going in the same direction. And that's what keeps the train on the track. If this one goes in a different direction, then the train will go off track. Our sentences are kind of the same way. We need to keep our sentences on track. Let's take a look at an example. Here is a parallel sentence. She likes hiking, swimming, and bicycling. Now what makes this parallel is the ing, ing, ing. This is a parallel sentence and it's working. Here's another type of parallel sentence with a different type of structure. Same basic sentence. They like to hike, to swim, and to ride a bicycle. What makes it parallel? Infinitive form, infinitive form, infinitive form. It's very important that we don't mix the structures. Let's take a look. Example one. This is not parallel. Mary likes hiking, swimming, and to ride a bicycle. This is the part. This is where we go off track. And its sentence is no longer parallel. So we fix it. She likes hiking, swimming, and riding a bicycle. Or she likes to hike, to swim, and to ride a bicycle. We need to keep the sentence on track. Let's take a look at example number two. The production manager was asked to write his report quickly, accurately, and in a detailed manner. As you can see, LY, LY, and then the use of a prepositional phrase. This prepositional phrase is adverbial in nature, but it's not an adverb, like quickly and accurately. So we need to find another word. Let's take a look. The production manager was asked to write his report quickly, accurately, and ta -da, thoroughly. That's parallel. Adverb, adverb, and adverb. Let's take a look at example number three. The teacher said that he was a poor student because he waited until the last minute to study for the exam, because he completed his lab problems in a careless manner, and because his motivation was low. Notice here, verb. Verb. See, so far, because because he, because he, they're parallel in that nature. Because he waited, because he completed, and because his motivation was low. So here, we go off track. Because the parallel nature is because he and then verb, past tense. Because he and verb, past tense. And then, because his, so the pronoun changed and the verb form changed, they went to was. So how do we make it parallel? Well, we need to find an ED form. Let's take a look. Here's parallel. The teacher said that he was a poor student because he waited until the last minute to study for the exam, because he completed his lab problems in a careless manner, and because he, because he, and there's the verb, verb. He lacked motivation. So because he waited, because he completed, and because he lacked motivation. That's parallel. Now there's an option with this parallelism. You notice here how I said because he waited and because he completed and because he lacked motivation. That's a good sentence. But you can also reduce it a little bit by using one because. 
and then keep the parallelism like this. The teacher said that he was a poor student because he waited until the last minute to study for the exam. And then use this because. Because he completed his lab problems in a careless manner and be because he lacked motivation. Now that's stylistic. That is not a big deal, but certainly it's uh, a possibility. But this sentence here is very good. The teacher said that he was a poor student because he waited, because he completed, and because he lacked. Verb, verb, verb. Okay, now this is the basics of parallelism. Parallelism can be a little more complex, but for right now, this is a good place to start with parallelism. Okay, I hope this video helped, and we'll see you later.